hi guys welcome back to today's quick uh, video in today's video i'm just going to try and help uh patsheba amardei wellington i do apologize if i am murdering your name and a surname oh, forgive me but um i will just try and address some of your concerns i think in on this channel i shared this video where i showed you how to create an mt5 uh, Mac D EMA Forex or robot using an EA builder that's called a uh, Forex EA uh, builder. This, this is the strategy, by the way. This is the strategy that we turned into a robot in that video. And if we go to Forex EA builder.com, uh, yeah, advisor, sorry. So uh, the challenge with the uh, problem that he's encountering is that uh, after we solved whatever uh, was happening here is that uh, the robot keeps taking trades after hitting uh, TP yes it will do that because the challenge is here where it says condition unlike an AI builder like FX trimmer uh, here you only have this condition is above so and or is below or is equal to so it means as long as the uh, conditions that you've set uh, are just uh, constant here, it will continue opening a new trade after uh, the a TP has been hit or after uh, stop loss has been hit, as long as the conditions are still valid. That's one advantage of using an EA builder like uh, FX uh, Dreamer. If we just go to the builder, let's just clear uh, that so if you come to uh, FX streamer if we double click and go in there you find that we have got a whole lot more options here for example we can use we can choose to use uh, at the time of the crossing you see this is uh, above so would we'll choose to only take a trade at the time of the crossing so if there is no cross there is no trade so that's one way of actually limiting the amount of trades that the robot will be taking however another approach is also using uh, mql5 mql4 coding i will look at where i placed uh, that code that you can actually insert into uh, this uh, robot that you would have created here so that it takes only one trade per signal one trade per signal you limit it to trade taking a trade uh, once per signal so i'll look for where i placed uh, that uh, code and then uh, i'll just share it with uh, you guys in any case the alternative then if you're encountering this problem then is to uh, for now uh, just go to your fx streamer i don't know if you have a subscription for mt5 or you can still do this in meta metatrader 4 if you want to you to do this uh, for free build the robot uh, for free so uh, as a bonus i'll just show you how to do uh, this uh, same uh, uh, strategy into a forex robot in fx streamer mt4 for free so basically we have our uh, strategy here it's basically based on the macd and moving averages crossing over by the way, if you are new on this channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our future videos. See the links in the description box below if you want to download free forex robots, indicators, books and stuff like that. Courses that people are selling out there, you can download everything for free using the links in the description box below. Okay, so we have uh, the MACD, uh, it's going to be by default settings and we have got uh, the 17 EMA, 200 EMA which needs to cross over one another and the macd needs to cross cross over the zero zero uh, the zero line and this needs to cross so basically the limitation on here is it has to be above it has to be below that's why it's even after hitting tp it's continuing to open new trade so for now you can uh, uh, use fx uh, dreamer so 
In order to build uh, this uh, robot on FX streamer, uh, basically here are the conditions that we need for uh, this uh, robot. So what we are going to do is we are going to go on to the on tick section. On tick section, if you are new to FX streamer, there is probably going to be a new uh, an example robot and some stuff here. Just highlight everything and right click and delete it. I've done a few videos on using FX Streamer on this channel. If everything is not clear, try and watch all those other videos on this channel. You, you begin to get a picture of what am I talking about. So the first thing that you're going to do is we're going to come here. Sorry, on here. And we're going to take this block that says no trader. That's the beauty of uh, FX Streamer. You're just basically dragging and dropping blocks and linking them together and building that robot again for free on mt4 and i think less than 10 or 11 blocks and you don't need to do any coding just basically dragging and, drop and dropping uh, blocks so this no trade a uh, block tells the robot to check that it currently has no uh, trades are running so that the robot doesn't place a million trades on one signal then you might also want to use uh, this block once per bar let's just link them together like so if i'm moving too fast i'm trying to make this video uh, short because i realize that you guys you hate watching long videos so i'm trying to make it uh, short so bear with me if you're making if i'm moving too fast i rewind the video and watch it over again so no trade and once per bar and that's basically what we need so that uh, our robot doesn't just take uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, trades on uh, a single candle and on a single, single signal or whatever so that's basically what we want at first and then you are going to go to condition then we are going to set conditions for a buy here and conditions for a sell here again we're just going to link the two the th uh, three blocks uh, like that so we're going to create the conditions for a buy here then the first condition we double click and we go in there the first condition is we need the MACD to cross over the zero line from uh, lower to upper uh, let's just open this in a new tab so that's what we want for a buy waste buy uh, this will be the buy and this will be conditions for a sell so we want our buy to be around uh, the MACD is above 00, zero line and the 17 EMA crosses above uh, the 200 EMA so if we go in here we are going to start by setting the conditions for the uh, MACD it needs to be above it can cross over or needs to be above you choose what works for you so indicator we are going to look for macd there is our macd and here are the default settings which they said we need to be using default setting and we are going to be is above you can choose to use is above which is what we have here already or you can choose to use the moment of the crossover but maybe let's use it's above for now then we use the crossover for uh, the moving averages then here we're going to say a value and we're going to say a zero because that's the zero line we need it to cross or to be above the zero line that's what they're saying it needs to be above the zero line there and we're going to update then we're going to drag again condition and we are going to link it uh, like that and we're going to double click and we're going to set our moving averages the first one is going to be the first one is going to be the 17 and it's going to be an EMA which is exponential here so we are going to have it like that and it needs to cross above that's the advantage of uh, FX streamer now we have a cross above the moment of the crossing above that's what we want crossed above so that's what we want here instead of just having is above which continually generates uh, signals for us we just want it the moment of the crossing above then it needs to cross above the 200 200 uh, you can tick some of these boxes if you want uh, if you want to change uh, things on MetaTrader 4 side 
without coming to FX too much to change uh, stuff. But in any case, you can always come back and change uh, whatever you want to change. Then we update. So that's basically the conditions for our our buy. Then then we go ahead and we place our buy button. We put it like that and we link it like that. Okay. And we double click and we go in there and we're going to use uh, whatever minimum volume is allowed by our broker for some it's 0.1 for some it's 0.01 uh, you decide what's required by your broker then uh, uh, as our take profit and our stop loss uh, they say one is to two so basically uh, around 20 to 50 pips for scalping or 20 versus 50 i don't know what they mean here but basically it's a one to two so for our our stop loss here maybe we say it's uh 30 versus uh 60 that's a one is to two risk to reward uh, ratio and we just uh, update that's basically what you need for your buy condition there then we can highlight this and we copy it and we paste like that and we link it like that and we again just double click and go in there and just change it to be like that so macd the moment it goes below the zero line or is below the zero line then we go double click and we go into our moving averages we want it the moment it crosses over uh, below the uh, 200 moving average uh, exponential moving average and like that we want to sell and we link it like that and we double click again and we again set whatever lot size that we are going to use for that as well as the stop loss and the take a profit that's basically uh, what you need the robot is complete that's all that you needed to turn this strategy into a forex robot you do not need to do any coding here as you can see then you just come here and you change uh, you name your robot uh, maybe we call it uh, a cool name uh, uh, maybe deja vu we call it the deja vu robot uh, so that it sounds fancy and when we sell it to people they think wow this is a deja vu robot whatever that means and here you can download the source code or the executable file the source code if you want to share people with your guys or the source code but here you can download the executable file if you want people to uh, to go into your source code so that's basically uh, what you need to do uh, on this channel i've also done a video about trailing stops if you want to use uh, trailing stops on fx streamer watch uh, that uh, video as well so i think i've made this video quite short and uh, we'll see otherwise guys i'm hoping that i've helped um what's his name uh but sheba uh, day wellington i'm sorry if again i'm murdering your cinema and name but hopefully i've given you an alternative that you can use if you are still struggling with that i will share the code that you can insert into a robot so that it only takes one trade per signal and stuff like that but uh, that's for another day otherwise guys subscribe i like the video i'll see you in the next one